was it GIP or GP? And how do I set up a Docker Compose volume? I wish it would not be that hard. There has to be something that could help me. Have a look at Portana. Okay, then let's find out what Portana is all about, how to install it, and how we can deploy a WordPress instance on Portana. Shall we? Let's get into it. Containers and their development, not to speak of their management, are not that easy to handle. Portana, which is to be found at portana.io, provides us with a front end for handling containers. With Portana, we can define our containers, we can use templates, predefined container stacks, we can use Helm, and we can define our own stack using Docker Compose or Kubernetes deployments. Portana is able to roll out deployments deployments, regardless of the underlying platform, be it local, be it in our home lab, or in the cloud environment of our choice. And as an added benefit, Portana is also able to work with Docker, Docker Compose, and Kubernetes as well. Portana itself is available either as open source free community edition or open core paid enterprise edition. Therefore, if you don't want to mess around with Docker files and such, or simply want to have a nifty looking front end at your disposal, you should check out Portana. Portana can be installed for Docker, Docker Swarm. Is anyone using Docker Swarm in 2022? Or Kubernetes. We will focus on the Docker installation here, which is pretty straightforward given that you already have Docker installed. You have it, don't you? If you don't know how to do that, there's a video in the right corner explaining how to do that. So first of all, we will need to create a Docker volume for Portana to store its data. The command is docker volume create portainer underscore data. That was the hard part of the installation. Now all we have to do is to start portainer. The command is docker run, which forwards ports 8000 and 9443 from the container to the host. The container is supposed to always restart and it connects to the local docker socket. The volume we have just created is to be mounted and we use the latest iteration of portainer CE. You can find find a GIS with all the commands linked in the description below. To check whether everything is set up and running, you can type docker ps. And now we will connect to our Portainer instance and do the initial configuration. To do that, open your browser and navigate to https localhost colon 9443. Here we now need to set up an account and don't forget to give it a strong password. Hit create user once done. And that was it. We are done now since Portana has already configured our local environment for us. Now we can use Portana to install workloads on the local environment or we can create a new environment. Now let's roll out WordPress with Portana. First of all, we log into our Portana instance. Could be that you have to select the environment you want to work in. Anyways, select app templates and then search for WordPress. We can now deploy it directly from here or we can customize the installation by hitting copy as custom. We will go the easy route here and install it the way it was provided to us. Therefore, we just click on the name of the stack and now we have to provide our stack with a name. I go with WordPress here and yes, that's not very creative. Next, we have to define a root password for the database. So we make sure that that is a very secure one. We now click on deploy stack and now we have enough time to enjoy our tea. Awesome. After a short time, WordPress has been deployed successfully. Now let's check the deployment and find out on which port WordPress has been deployed in case port 80 was not available. 
which is the case on my machine. As you can see, it's running on a dedicated port. Keep that port in mind going forward. Now we just can connect to WordPress. So what we do is we open the browser and we type in HTTP colon slash slash IP address of the machine. And if it's not port 80, then colon followed by the port. Hit enter and you are greeted with the WordPress installation screen. And voila, just like that, we have a working WordPress instance. Awesome. Now, that is what I call a clever container management. If you feel the same way, then just head over to portainer.io and try it out today. Let me know your experiences and your thoughts in the comments below. And while you are there, don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And don't forget, let's make the world a better place now more than ever. Thanks for dropping by. Bye.